Hey squad, hey, it's Bianca from Plan Love Budget. How are you today? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm fixing this because I think today's the 19th. I want to say today's the 19th. I um, We're off, it's Tuesday. So if it's not the 19th that it's Tuesday, then I, I screwed up. But anyways, I am off today. We had to go get our drug screen our drug test done for our new place in Colorado. So we just got back from doing that. And I wanted to do a quick video because I have a lot of videos to edit because I filmed early for this week. But anyways, um, I do have Luna right here next to me. That's the, oh, bye. Bye, Luna. Um, That was her butt. But anyways, so in today's video, I'm going to go over this. Because you guys are staring at and you're like, what is going on? Unless you're a fellow villager of Donna's and you know what this is. Um, we're going to do this. And we're also going to organize some binders. So I did do some off camera because, I don't know, sometimes you just want to do it yourself kind of thing. So we're going to go over and I probably will do a voiceover. I think this one I'll do normal and then I'll probably do a voiceover for the other ones just so I can take my time and also watch some videos because I'm definitely behind on videos <laughs> since I've been gone for three weeks. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to go back and watch everything, but just know I am watching your videos. I try to leave a comment. If not, it's because my is playing in the background, but I am starting to watch videos. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So first off, Donna Miss Donna over at Donna Pirate Creativity. If you are a squad member of mine and you are not subscribed to Donna, please go check her out. She is doing a giveaway. It's like a Christmas, New Year's giveaway. It's super cute. It's a Disney um, Happy Planner budget book. It's like a complete like set thing. It's super cute. Um, if I can, I'll show you a picture here. If not, go over to Miss Donna and watch her video and um, so you can be entered into the giveaway. So yes, I just wanted to give a shout out to Miss Donna and any squad members of mine that are not following her. Please go check her out and be entered into the giveaway. Super exciting. It's really, really cute. So I wish all my squad members good luck and go enter us. So now I reprinted <laughs> the triple play. So my computer is weird. There's some challenges where I could just hit print and it's fine. Other challenges, I actually have to like look at it and see if it's being cut off on the bottom or the top. And then I have to switch it from scale 100 to scale to fit. And sometimes when I'm printing a bunch of challenges at the same time, I just don't obviously I don't so we want this to fit into the a5 because that's where I think I'm gonna have it yes so I'll cut this and we can speed through it basically but let me show you what I did let me let me show you what I did so I don't know if you guys remember this because it's been a hot minute since I've done a um or since I filmed this happy mail haul but this is going to be my new high sinking funds. And how I do my high sinking funds might be different from others, which is fine. Um, you know, create the binder and the envelopes that fit you. You know, you can take inspirations from other people. Don't get me wrong. Try it out. See how it works. But definitely do what's best for you. So right now... Now, this might change, too, because right now I have enough money when I get paid that my bills come out first and then I have leftover money that will either go to like groceries, gas, credit cards, and then like an extra payment for the credit card. And then the rest of it can go into my binders. Right. And sometimes I put extra money into savings. Now that we're switching jobs and we're not going to be we're getting a pay cut because we're going to be local traveling so we're not getting our stipend which is fine we're moving into our tiny house and it makes more sense to do that than to pay rent in wisconsin and pay for our mortgage in the tiny house 
it's just gonna work out better. I'm sure there's a video that I probably already explained this, so I'm so sorry if there is, <laughs> and it's already out. So, this might change as in I might, or this binder might stay the same, I might have a bills binder. Because if I'm not making the money, enough money, I need to have, I might have to save to pay for the mortgage, you know, utilities and that kind of stuff. So we're going to see, I'm not going to order vinyls just yet. I'm going to wait and see how things go first. So, so far, this is pretty much the same as far as my high yields. My high yield is kind of like things that we're saving for that might come in the future, come once a year, that kind of thing. So right now we have like rainy day, rainy day. I Like I said, I really wanted to have a whole month's worth of a paycheck just in case something were to happen. We can pull money from there and I know our bills are good. So that's rainy day. Credit card is an extra spot we could put to put extra payments in. Insurance is almost fully funded because I don't think my insurance was that much. This insurance that I'm saving for is technically just for like, we were renting. So we had renter's insurance. We have our Apple watches, which one of them we sold. So we don't we even need insurance on it. And then my wedding ring. So we are going to have to, I'm going to have to call. It's my to-do list. I might do that after this video. Call and figure all that out. Um, Car stuff. So I did pronounce some more challenges for it because I felt like even though I can have it all in here sometimes it's nice to have different categories so this one I made this is for tires then we have vehicle maintenance car repairs and car insurance the insurance is because I kind of want to stop doing the month to month I kind of want to pay it every six months and I believe that's how Geico is. I think it's every six months. And I would like to have the money saved up so where I could just like pay it and not have to worry about it monthly. That would be nice. Um, these trackers are from Budget with Jenny. Crap, I almost had it memorized. Budget, budget with Jenny. Um, so I will leave that in the description down below. So that way I could like... I don't know, organize it a little better because this one right here is just car savings fund, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I think now I can organize it a little bit better. I don't know. It's just what I was thinking. Health was kind of the same way. I got some more trackers. So again, I think I'm going to replace this one with this because these were in the dom denominations of 15 and I just think this would work better. And I have vision and dental. Because, you know, my husband has glasses, I need my contacts, and we definitely need to have our teeth cleaned and all that jazz. And normally there's a copay, blah, blah, blah. Pets, this will be the new tracker for pets. Again, all of these are from a budget with Jenny. And um, if it's something different, I'll let you guys know. Oh, snap stays the same. I do want to get Donna's and put it in here. Just some, you know, mix things up. There's a new travel one in here. And then emergency, still the same. So this is for like basically the tiny house, natural disasters, if anything would happen. I wanted a special 1K just for the house. And then we'll have like, you know, 1K for savings. And then hopefully the pets would reach 1K. I really want to get to 1K for them as well. So that's what we're working on mortgage so we have a loan debt payoff tracker it's a new one this is going to be that extra payment for the mortgage so i think i'll just save this up until i don't feel safe having it right now we have a save for the for all my binders um but once it gets like a good amount of mon money then i'll take it and deposit and make a payment so here we have home repairs from One Frugal Introvert, new bed from One Frugal Introvert, but then also from Budget with Jenny, we have home decor as well. So we have this one that has 200 and a blank one. So you can write whatever denominations you want. So that's for this one for Tiny. I brought over the other Tiny because this one was more like decorative, like not 
essential, I guess, not like high priority in a way. But here you have like home repairs, home renovations, and new appliances. I definitely want to have money saved aside because you know things break, right? And I don't want to move in and then not have a fund because I've here, you know, when we watch each other's channels, we realize, oh, my gosh, their dishwasher broke, like, or their refrigerator broke. A refrigerator is more important than a dishwasher. But it's like, oh my gosh, like, do they have the, you know, you have to start saving for it, da 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 da. I would like to have it already saved so that I know, like, if something were to break, boom, I got it. So the next thing that's kind of changing is my yearly. So this one I started putting in. Because we're going to finish this. We're going to finish December eventually. So December will be gone. And then we have January again. So these are the these are the ones for One Frugal Introvert that I used last year. I absolutely love them. I'm going to use them again. But for next year, it's going to be A5. So this one was the one that held my high sinking funds. So I just switched it out because I... I got those envelopes to match. So here we have the 2024 one. I'm replacing this. Well, because remember how small it was? I have a newer one. Um, I do need to reprint this. I forgot to reprint that. So this will also be big. And then I have Donna's monthly. I have both of them in here. So this is a scratch off. And then this is the what does she call it? A combo envelope. And it's in the back too. The other one that's probably going to go in here. Yes, it's already in here. Is the 20, save 2,200, save 2,024 in the year 2024. That's going to go in here because it's technically like a yearly thing. So anything like yearly savings challenges are going to be in here. Hopefully that makes sense. I know I did have it in Donna's book. Um... No, I didn't have her scratchers. I had the uh, um, the bucks. And I think I might make a section for it in here versus it being in here. But I do like it in the bigger A5. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know because this can only hold so much. That's the thing about A6s. They're super cute and you get them decorated and everything like that. But they don't hold enough, in my opinion, as far as like money goes. But this is where we need to work on is this the christmas ones because i'm gonna move this aside i'll probably do that as well but i'm gonna explain what i'm gonna do and then we're gonna go into fast forward mode i just think that i have so many cute what do you call it like challenges that we're gonna keep this binder obviously but i'm thinking about putting some of the christmas ones in here so you could see santa I just feel like that's more Christmassy than this gray one. I'm still going to, I'm obviously going to keep this gray one because then we'll use it for the um, other challenges later on the year or whatever. But I just thought this was like more festive. So I think we're going to switch some stuff around. I know I had some of the, yeah, the creepy Christmas ones definitely need to go in here. I don't know what I was thinking. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause where we're at, I'm gonna fast forward, probably do some talking or have some music playing, I don't know. But you guys can have fun watching me redecorate the Christmas ones. And I think that's basically it that I need to do. I might later on, oh, I did print them. I have some other challenges that I wanna to add to the big book of savings. So I might do that as well since I already have it printed. I did the, from reinventing and Renee, there's the Bumblebee one. I just have to do the 1530 one. I'm gonna add it in here as well. So, and I'm hoping I'm not doing too many challenges. Like I said, right now, like our income is pretty good, but now that it's gonna be changing, how I'm saving, how much money, how much money I'm saving into challenges is probably going to change. So, which hey, we adapt with life, right? And we're gonna get, we're gonna get through this. You're gonna get through watching me get through this life. All right, let's have some fun. <laughs> 